So now you'll see that the fabric of the balloon is now starting to wallow around in the air. And what it's doing at the moment is putting cold air into the, the, the envelope, the balloon, to uh, get it up to shape so that he can then get it uh, to a size where he can start putting some hot air in. This allows him to put cold air, which is cheaper to put in than hot, uh, to round the balloon out. And once he gets to a point where it's nicely rounded uh, on the ground, he will then change from using the cold air fan onto the birders. And you'll certainly hear the difference in sound. You've got a mechanical noise at the moment, and then you've got a like a, a blowtorch when it's uh, putting the hot air in. And if you wanted to, you can have a pretty decent barbecue on it. So at the moment he's just warming up, got a couple of eyes coming up on the top of the balloon to have a look at what's going on around us, and he will have that up in the air in not too long now. I've got
can see now that the, vo the noise around the balloon has changed. It's gone from the motor to now Andy's putting hot air into it. And uh, as you can see, the balloon is rising, Oi! ready to get itself Oi! into the air. So as we watch it go up, we've got 90,000 cubic feet of air, probably a mass of around five tonnes. But if it got in your way, it would certainly mow you down. So you don't want to stand in front of it. And, uh, now working its way up, there's probably seven or eight people holding on to the basket at the bottom of the balloon just to make sure it anchors to the ground. And there it is, he's got it up. Well done, and how about a round of applause for him? He's done very well. That's it. It takes a, a tremendous amount of skill to be able to get the balloon up in these conditions. He has to fight with the, the burners, uh, the, the ropes and the weight that's fighting against him. So he's done an exceptionally good job and hopefully will uh, be the trailblazer for the Northampton 2011 balloon fiesta this evening. Don't forget that when he does launch, we want a nice big round of applause, big cheers from the boys and girls, and waves as well. That's it, get your arms going. Let's, let's see the youngsters now, the little ones. Can you show me how you wave? Can you see a wave? Come on, that's it. Nice big wave. Go on. That's it. Because he'll like that. He's working very hard to put on an entertainment for us in conditions which are a little bit tricky. For those of you that can see the basket at the bottom of the balloon, you can see the number of people that are hanging on to it. You don't get on the way in the way of that, and you don't get your toes trapped underneath because it does hurt. <laughs> is nowhere near the trees and you can already see that the wind is taking him away quite quickly. Well done Andy! <laughs> so what we'll do now is we'll wait for a little while. Andy's got an airband radio and John who's the launch director has got another one that he'll be able to listen in. He will then receive information from Andy in the air with speed, direction, uh, what is in front of him so that he knows so John is able to make a decision whether other pilots will fly. Uh, if that is the case, then you'll see quite an activity going on on the launch site in different areas. But we will now wait for Andy to come back to us with the information as to whether it is safe to go or not. So let's hope that we have something to, go, to show a little bit later on. But once again, what a good effort from Andy Austin. Thank you.